Welcome back to the Burnout Bob YouTube video. In today's video, we will be installing a Pro Race slip-on exhaust system on my 2021 KTM Duke. So for those of you who are new to the channel, typically I do ruckus content, uh, like Honda ruckus stretching, I'm GY6. I'm also currently in the process of building a scoot ski where I'm putting the jet ski on top of a scooter. Pretty sweet stuff. This one, this is this is new to the channel, so. This is my 2021 KTM Duke 390. I have wanted one of these for probably about eight months now. I've been looking, I finally got a call about one, ran and had to pick it up. I've already stretched it, I've lowered it, just like I do with all my bikes. I lowered the front end, put new bars on it, did the back half, did the shock, and then I reached out to a company called Pro Race. I told them, hey, I love the style of your slip-on system for the KTM Duke. I know they've changed it since 20 and 21. So I ended up getting one out here, doing a little R&D with them, and I'm gonna put this one on. So in this video, we will be installing it still on the bike. With this, for the KTM Duke, you have lots of options. You have the choice for Cerakoted Black, like so. You can see it says Pro Race, like laser etched in, it's pretty cool. I have to clean this one up, I have fingerprints all over it because I was playing around with it. So what you have here is a bunch of pie cuts on stainless steel, clean look, I like this. They do have it in the Cerakote Black option, which I chose, they have the stainless steel option, and then they have a titanium, I believe, which is pretty sweet. I went with the Cerakote Black, um, like I said, this is made for the 2020, so I'm doing some retrofitting for it to fit to the 21, and I'll show you what I had to do once we get there. So I'll go ahead and start taking this uh, factory exhaust off right now. To get the factory exhaust off, you're gonna need a couple tools. You're gonna need a 12 millimeter socket, eight millimeter, and then I use a 13 open end for the back. You're gonna have a hose clamp like so. It's gonna be at the bottom of the exhaust here. That's a 12 millimeter, you're gonna take that off. Then the top bolt right here is a 12 up front with a 13 open end nut in the back. So you're gonna use the open end wrench for the back and then use the 12 mil to pull this bolt out here. I've already pre-loosened these to make it easier. So with that, you just pull that off, let that dip down. Your exhaust hanger that holds the top of the muffler here has two eight millimeter bolts in the back and that's what you're going to use the 8 mm socket to take those off. But essentially, all this is the hanger here and then the hose clamp. And like that, your factory slip-on is off. I'm going to go ahead and continue to remove the top two. Eight mil bolts. And there you have it. And so you can see this is what the inside of the bracket looks like. So like I said, this Pro Race one is made for the 2020, which has like a V-band clamp style on it. Because this one doesn't, I had to make some improvements to it, and then I relayed the information to uh, Pro Race so that we can work together and, and get these a direct bolt on for the 2021 models. So what I did is, I just made a little four little relief cuts Cut the V-band clamp off, and then I'm going to slide it over with my hose clamp and assemble that on. So 
So now that the ProRace slip-on is on and secure, what I'm going to do is the first cold start. I'm not going to rev it, I'm just going to do the cold start and idle so you can hear it at that. is warmed up. I'm gonna go ahead and give it some low RPM revs. You guys like this install video personally i think it sounds great in the next video i'm going to do i'm going to do a couple drive-bys on it where i'll set up the camera and just do a couple passes by so you can hear it see how it sounds um it definitely opened up i will say that from stock because stock is so quiet so i definitely like that sound to me it's always good to be heard and to be seen so with the bright orange it's always a high vis thing and then now to be heard on top of that i enjoy it so be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I will put the link for the Pro Race slip on below. Check that out, check them out. They have exhaust for tons of different bikes, not just the KTM Duke. I just wanted to show what I can do for the Duke here, and I'll catch you on the next one.